Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today we're going to learn how to find the probability of at least one. Here's our problem statement. Subjects for the next presidential election poll are contacted using telephone numbers in which the last four digits are randomly selected with replacement. Find the probability that for one such phone number, the last four digits include at least one zero. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the probability of at least one of those four digits at the end of the phone number being zero. And to do that, we actually remember that whenever we're looking for the probability of at least one, that's one minus the probability of none. So the probability that none of those last four numbers are zero subtracted from one is going to give us the probability of at least one. Well, what's the probability that none of them are zero? Well, <clears throat> it's the probability that the first number is not zero, and the probability that the second number is not zero, and the probability that the third number is not zero, and the probability that the fourth number is not zero. Okay, <clears throat> so from this point, what do we do? Well, what's the probability that the first one is not zero? Well, we go through and we substitute, we find that it's the part over the whole. So there are nine numbers that are not zero. There's ten numbers total, zero through nine. So the part over the whole is nine-tenths. This is the probability that the first number is not zero. And, of course, it's just statistics speak for the multiplication. So that's what we have here. And then we can continue on and find that it's the same thing for the rest of the numbers. So the probability that the second one is not zero. You've got ten numbers to choose from. One of them's not zero. So there's nine to choose from out of the ten total. And it just goes on like that. So we can just continue on like this. Now at this point in the expression, we can simplify this. Because we've got nine tenths multiplied by itself. There's four of them. So I can actually just simplify that by saying nine tenths to the fourth power which when I punch that out on my calculator, I get 0.6561. Subtract that from 1, and I get 0 0.3439. I'm asked to round to three decimal places. Nice work! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.